Welcome back here with Newsday. Astronomers have detected a huge planet killer asteroid. It's the largest in eight years. Joining us live is Fred Watson, Australia's astronomer at large. Fred, good to see you. Thank you. Should we be losing sleep over this one? <laughs> um, I guess if you're a headline writer, you want to make people lose sleep. But in reality, uh, no, we shouldn't lose any sleep over it. Uh, maybe, however, our very distant descendants might, because its orbit might change in the future. But uh, we're talking about thousands of years down the track. Okay, so it isn't an immediate uh, threat. I think we're all relieved to hear that. As you <laughs> alluded to there in the headlines, it's been called a, a planet killer. Would it really be a planet killer if it hit? Would that size asteroid mean it's all over? Uh, it, no, not entirely. So just to put it into context, this uh, asteroid is about one and a half kilometres in diameter. And that, by the standards of asteroids that we're finding these days, is quite big. But it's only a tenth of the diameter of the one that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. And that really was a planet killer. That caused mass extinctions on a huge scale. Something a tenth the size of that is still going to be devastating in terms of its effect uh, on, on the planet itself. Because it, even though, you know, the explosion that it causes could... Uh, basically do statewide, even continent-wide damage, uh, immediate damage. What, what it does is it lifts a whole pile of dust and debris into the upper atmosphere. And it's, as that dust circulates around the atmosphere, it reduces the sunlight. Uh, and we get something uh, akin to what used to be called a nuclear winter, where you've got so much dust in the atmosphere that you, you lower the, the average temperature of the Earth. And that's the dangerous part, what it could do to the species on our planet who are really well tuned to the ambient temperatures we have today.